Hi, and welcome to episode four of Slick's Video Guide to the News Groups. This episode is in Newsreaders, where we'll talk about some of the features that you can expect from a modern binary newsreader. Today we're in the High Line Park in New York City. The High Line actually used to be an elevated freightway that would deliver goods throughout the west side. These goods would be processed and then distributed to the public. Binary newsreaders aren't so much different. They process information and turn into a file that's usable. Like the High Line, binary newsreaders have gone through a lot of changes recently. What used to be difficult programs to learn have become very intuitive. To keep up, we're going to talk about three popular and free binary newsreaders, Altbins, Rabbit, and Sab NZBD+. We're going to kick off our newsreader discussion with Altbins. Episode 1 already covered some of the basics, but let's talk about what makes this Windows-based newsreader tick. Altbins has a very simple interface which makes it very easy to use. Most of its functions are right here on the toolbar, so you won't have to worry about digging for features or preferences or whatever. Like most modern binary newsreaders, Altbins will automatically reassemble and repair an archive if any parts were lost or damaged after downloading. When you double click on an NZB file, actually in our case we're just going to click and drag one in, Altbins will automatically launch and if set up properly will download the entire archive. On the Part 2 tab, we see that Altbins is working away at making sure the archive is complete and putting it all back together for you. When it's finished, you just click on the Download tab and you're taken to the folder where your completed file is waiting for you. The next newsreader we're going to discuss is Gravit. Gravit basically does the same thing as Altbins, but it has a few extra features. You can still post regular text messages, but most importantly, you can browse in newsgroups. Let's take a closer look. If you've never used Grabbit before, the first thing you want to do after you've entered your server information is click Refresh Group List. This will populate your newsreader with every newsgroup your new server carries. You'll also need to subscribe to a newsgroup. You can do this by double-clicking on whichever group you wish. You can also search for a newsgroup. In this case, we're going to search for Alt Binaries Test. You'll then need to download the headers that belong to that newsgroup. You can do that by clicking Update Groups. Since I already did that before, they'll load up relatively quickly here. But normally, this is a long process. For a large binary newsgroup, this could take 20 minutes or more. After the newsgroup is populated with headers, we can browse or search for information. Let's search for Slick. And there is our video guide to the newsgroups. To download this archive, we just highlight the files that we want, click Grab Selected, and let Grabit do the rest. If you're looking for high quality access to the news groups, check out Red Orb News at www.redorbnews.com for all these great features at low prices. To wrap things up, we'll cover SAB and ZBD, which is an active, open source, multi platform, web based newsreader. Because it's web based, you're going to lose out on a few features normally found in Open and Grabit, such as the ability to monitor each thread as it downloads in real time. But there are several other features you're going to gain. You're going to be able to join split files as well as RAR archives. Another feature SAB NZBD Plus has is the ability to add NZB files from zip files, which is useful with free NZB indexing sites. It may be a bit difficult to decide which program to use at first. If you're a beginner, Altbins is a great choice. But don't forget Grabit and definitely don't forget SAB NZBD Plus. If you're like a lot of other people, you're probably going to end up with all three. That's it for episode four. Remember, if you have any questions, just go to www.slick.com forward slash NG, where there's an active community willing to help. Thanks for joining us, and look out for episode five coming soon.